it's Jen. Welcome to Art Scene. We're in New York City on West 36th Street at the Hossfeld Gallery. We're here to see the first ever New York City solo show by California artist Julie Chang. It's going to be a collision of color and culture, so let's go see. Tell us a little bit about the show we're at. We're opening a show tonight by Julie Chang and it's called Chinese Japanese Indian Chief. Julie is an artist from San Francisco and this is her first solo show in New York. For people that couldn't be here at the opening, what would you want them to know about the show? Just because her work is pretty doesn't mean it's not really, really smart. And the more time you spend with her work, and I think the more time you spend with art in general, the more you're going to get out of it. Julie, thanks so much for letting us interview you. The name of the show is named after a childhood game that you played. Right. Tell us about what that game was like. It's one of those hand clapping games. I went to a Chinese restaurant to buy a loaf of bread, and it ends with Chinese, Japanese, Indian chief. And I remember you know, playing this, and to me it was sort of emblematic of what it meant to grow up, where I did, when I did, because we're all required in different ways to play along, whether it's a man or a woman, you know, wherever we live and grow up, we're required to play along, and, and yet there's a feeling inside of us before we even know or have words for it, that this isn't quite feel right. And I think that is that tension is what has already strived my work. Tell me a little bit about the imagery and the underlying symbolism in the works in this show. In the work, you'll see common themes that I've been working with in various ways over the last decade, really. Um, they'll include things like prostitutes crawling around on all fours. There are Prozac pills which I think works on so many levels, whether in sort of modern society, like all the ways in which we try to numb out because we're so overwhelmed, to you know, very specifically the Orange County, Southern California culture of also just trying to get by and deal with all of this false uh, expectation and the, the promise that is never delivered upon. And how do we reconcile that? Tell me a little bit about moving from Southern California to San Francisco and what it's like being an artist living and working in San Francisco. I think I was constantly confronted with the feeling that I didn't fit in, or that fundamentally how I was, who I was, the way I thought, there wasn't a place for it. And it wasn't until I moved to San Francisco that I felt for the first time in my life some space to just be. What uh, for you is the significance of having your first New York City solo show? I think that I feel uh, kind of a new sense of maybe vulnerability, but in a way that I'm excited about because I feel privileged that I have the opportunity to share this story that I have. And I think it was a leap of faith to think, okay, there's people are going to get it here too. Well, would you want viewers to take away from your work? I think in general my motivation is to have people respond in a way that is purely sort of titillating at first. Like, oh, that's a beautiful color or um, shapes that I remember. There's something about it that seems familiar. And then hopefully what happens after that initial entry is there's like, oh, there's more here to it. And, and that, that's ultimately what I'm getting at, is something that feels good and at the same time asks the question, asks us to sort of reconsider what it is that we're looking at and, and how we see things. This 20 panel piece I'm selecting as my favorite piece of the show. Each piece is bold and beautiful and is successful on its own, but I love the way the pieces interact with each other on the wall and in the space. They're beautiful at first look, but once you scratch the surface and look at the imagery and the commentary, you'll see the prostitutes crawling over the cookie cutter floor plans and the pianos and the Louis Vuitton imagery as well as the Prozac pills and it will make you think about the deeper meaning and her commentary on culture and society. It's really successful and that's why I'm selecting it. enjoyed the show. Todd was a wonderful host. Julie's work is bold yet sublime, beautiful and intriguing. I'm so glad you could join us and we look forward to seeing you next time on Art Scene.